I loved it. I wanted to be an artist when I was five. <laughs> my my dad's an artist, and so he he got me going, um, believing it was, it was believing I could really go places and be great at it. It was just kind of amazing to see a, a piece of paper be transformed into something else. My earliest memories are probably um, being in church and. He would draw little pictures for me. He would draw half of it, and I would draw the other half. And his half always looked better. <laughs> <laughs> and I was jealous of that, and so I tried to be, I tried to make mine as good as his. But that was, that was when I was really young. I was like five. The paintings that I have really connected to or felt that were powerful for me, um, they were always related to a real life experience, and this, my friend had this dream of going to uh, Nauvoo and walking the Mormon Trail. It was a nutty idea, but it was awesome because to really experience what it felt like a full hand card and to, it was just, it was exciting. So I decided to like really support him in, his, in achieving his dream. And my mom and I and him and his dog, um, we drove out to Nauvoo and while we were driving, we got to see the whole experience that the pioneers would have went through, um, but in reverse. While we were driving, it was kind of like, wow, um, maybe it was good that they didn't know what they were getting into, because um, Wyoming is bleak. <laughs> There's nothing out here. It's just a crazy experience, and we got to see how the landscape changed from Wyoming it felt like there was absolutely nothing out there to to the plains, to um, really lush, beautiful Nauvoo. It was a lot of time to think and to think, oh, what? If they came from such a beautiful, lush place and they're out there in this barren wilderness, they must have thought a lot about Nauvoo and, and how beautiful it was and how they worked so hard to make something beautiful. We got to the banks of the Mississippi, finally, after a long drive, and it was kind of an exciting and emotional farewell for my friend, and he loaded up his hand cart and two steps into his track, his hand cart broke. <laughs> it was just completely annihilated um, from the weight or from the construction. It was just very, it was so sad, <laughs> it was so sad, too all this hard work and get destroyed like that and so we cried on the banks of the Mississippi and it it was just the first time in my life that the pioneers had felt real to me and um I, I kind of understood what what it would have felt like to have worked so hard and then two steps into it you you lose something or it breaks or you lose someone 